Hey everybody, welcome to Friday. I hope everybody had a great week. It's time for our Sew Next Live video that we do every Friday. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about the proper steps and techniques when you go to clean your car. We get a lot of calls in our office here about, you know, do I put on my sealant first? Do I put wax on top, wax underneath? You know, when do I clay? Do I use fallout before I wash? So because of all of those calls, I thought today, instead of talking about something product specific, even though it is a beautiful day in Indianapolis, we've been blessed with some just gorgeous fall weather, uh, we will go to my whiteboard here in my office and just talk a little bit about the proper steps. So some people are weekend warriors. They want to wash their car in their driveway every weekend. That's great. Others, you know, do it maybe, you know, once a month or some people do less. And that's for the DIYers. Now the detailers, when you take your car in, let's say you use a local a professional detailer, you may want to wonder why it, it takes so long for them to do your car or what's involved in the expense. And it may not necessarily be broken out on their bill. So there's a lot of steps that go into really getting a good professional clean on your car without doing any further damage. So let's just run through those real quick. So before you even get to the wash, uh, you want to get some of the um, maintenance things out of the way. So it might be uh, your wheels, uh, or it might be you have insect residue on the front that you want to get off, or you might have some kind of sticky something on your car that you want to use like an alcohol wipe or something like that to take off of it. Now with almost every product, including the Sonex products, you always want to start with a uh, cool, dry car. So you want your wheels to be nice and cool. You don't want to drive them to the car wash and then try and do it there and make sure it's cool. Same thing for the uh, insect remover. I know some people drive somewhere and then they get out and they spray the insect remover and it kind of creates a little bit of a mess. It has to be cool to the touch uh, before you use either one of those products. So that's something to get out of the way first. And it's also something that you can just do real quick uh, as far as our products go. You just spray it on and there's not a whole lot more you need to do with it. Your, our wheel cleaner, everyone has seen the videos, you know it's pretty maintenance free. Our insect remover is pretty much the same way. There's special chemicals in there that break down the uh, bug residue, if you will, and uh, then you can just wash it off. If it's really stuck on, we also have a special sponge for that. Uh, you can just give it a quick wipe, but we've done videos on that before. It's very, very simple to use. So then let's get into the wash. So that's your next step. So uh, we prefer the two bucket system, um, but on top of all of that, it's good to have the proper uh, car wash. So you want one that has uh, something in it called surfactants. And normally it says that on the label. And what a surfactant is, is it gets in there up underneath the dirt and it raises the dirt up off of the surface because the last thing you wanna be doing if your car is uh, fairly soiled is taking a microfiber sponge and rubbing that dirt into the paint even farther. So you wanna make sure you use a shampoo with a surfactant to raise the dirt up off of the car's surface so that it's easily cleaned off without marring the paint, okay? So from that, you go into the decontamination. I know a lot of people think you use fallout first and then wash the car, but you really use it second. So you wanna get the car as clean as possible, and then you can use a de uh, de <laughs> decontaminant. So that can either be uh, a clay disc, a clay bar, a clay mitt, you can either, you know, just any kind of clay material, or it could just be a fallout cleaner. It just depends on where, you're, where you live and what kind of damage you think your car may have. Uh, for instance, our fallout cleaner uh, is very similar to other products, but I think ours works better. You simply spray it on and you let it rest for a little bit and you'll see little tiny, uh, almost like blood stains coming out in the paint. And what that is, is that is uh, either rail dust or other contaminants that come up and reacts with the chemicals and lets you know that it's working. So once you let that work for a while, uh, you just simply hose the car off and, and you should be good to go. Um, and from that, you kind of have three branches that you can go out to. So if your paint is in really bad condition, you're going to have to do a paint correction. And this is uh, generally done with a polisher, um, with an electronic polisher. And depending on where the damage is in your paint, I know we've talked about our polishes before. The labeling is very clear. For instance, like our, um, our cut, uh, cut Max, it is a six cut, which is the highest cut you can have, and a three polish. 
Uh, so it starts to jewel it out a little bit, does some of the work for you. And our, our polishes are diminishing compounds. So when you start, it starts off at the six and as the material warms up to your paint, uh, it'll break down to a three and a polish, it'll bring up that shine. Um, our polishes are all water-based. Uh, some polishes aren't, but ours is water-based, which makes it very uh, a long working window and very easy to wipe off and clean up. And it doesn't have any, uh, hardly any dust out at all that, to clean up. So if your paint is in decent condition, maybe you've already had it professionally detailed and you're just doing maintenance, or maybe you did the paint correction uh, the last time, you can kind of skip that step. You come on over to the polish. So the polishing is actually the jeweling, sometimes you'll hear it called, uh, buffing, uh, people use different terms for it. But uh, for instance, we follow up our, our cut max with our EX0406. Again, four on the cut and six on the polish, so it's the highest jeweling uh, compound that we have, and it works very similar uh, to the Cut Max. It is a water base, so easy to clean up, a uh, long working window. It takes very little product to use on the pad. Um, you you know put it on the pad, you work it at a slow speed, raise up the speed, you work in small areas. Generally, you do nine passes, three across, three up and down, three across and then you can wipe it, wipe it off from there, and you should be able to see a, a marked difference between uh, before and after you polish. So let's say you, you do, do this step every time you clean your vehicle, you do the polish, and you think your paint is in perfect condition, although as we all know, even coming from a dealership, it's never imperfect, but you can go straight to the coat and seal step. So some people like the coating on their car, uh, for as, as far as Sonex products goes, that's our polymer net shield is a coating that is uh, polymer based so it actually bonds to the paint or uh, our sealant i'm sorry the sealant is the polymer net shield the coating is the cc36 um, the polymer net shield lasts about uh, six months again depending on how often you wash your car and what area of the country you live in and the cc36 lasts about a year and you give every six month boost with the polymer net shield now, the reason you do this step right after you polish is because this is the longest lasting protection you can put on your car. So you want that closest to the paint. You want that to bond with the paint. Now, a lot of people don't like the grabbiness of the polymer base. So from that, you can move on and you can wax on top of it. With that, you can either use a polymer base, a carnauba base, or you can use a blend. Uh, we have several products that fall in that category. Some people just like the buttery feel of Carnuba, so they want that on top of the polymer base. It does not take away from any sealant or coating the hydrophobic properties at all. It just adds an extra layer of protection on there. Now because Carnuba is a natural product, it doesn't hold up as well as a polymer base. So after a few washes, maybe three or four washes, or if you live in a warmer climate, that uh, Carnuba is going to basically melt off of your car. That's why you have to have the strongest protection right next to the paint, because even after the Carnuba is gone, your sealant or your coating will help protect your paint. And then what you can do, this is why you have a dotted line here, uh, you can use a quick detailer in between cleanings. Um, our product is the Brilliant Shine Detailer. It's very simple to use. You've seen us use it, you've seen Mike Phillips use it. It's basically, you spray it on and you wipe it off and it gives you a really nice, deep, glossy finish. So that's pretty much it for today. Again, you wanna do your maintenance stuff first, wheels, insects, sticky stuff on your car. You give it a nice wash, uh, two bucket system, surfactant shampoo, uh, decontaminate either with a clay or fallout, and then depending on the uh, condition of your paint, you want to do one of these three steps, paint correct, polish, or coat and seal, and then uh, give it a wax at the bottom and you should be good to go. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Hope you learned something from this today and uh, we are gearing up big time for SEMA. That's only a week away. We're going to have six guest detailers in our booth. We're very excited. Uh, watch our Facebook page and we're going to be making announcements starting next week. Thanks so much and have a great weekend.